Hello and welcome to another Raggy's uh, beer review. So this time it's a pub review. Uh, yesterday I was in Nottingham City Centre for my uh, 52nd birthday. Yeah, God, I hate it. But in any case, um, me, Mrs Raggy, um, Angela and Andy from the Happy Drinkers and we went to this place, the Sir John Belay's Warren. So, on Derby Road in um, the Canning Circus area in Nottingham, there's a pub called the Sir John Belay's Warren. It's at the top of the Park Estate to Posh Estate, where lots of people have lots of money, and I won't go any further into that conversation, but there you go. Um, but yeah, you walk in the pub, there's a bar to your left hand side, there's a couple of mini areas, and unbeknownst to me, because I've never actually been any further, um, there was an outdoor seating area. And I thought, ooh. Then there's a bar to your right called the Dog and Thief. And it's like, ooh. Craft beer, craft beers, ten, 10 craft beers on the bar. Spirits on the back wall. There's um, uh, like a um, air conditioned cellar with all your craft beer in. So there's, n there's no loss. Well, there's little to, mo little to no loss of beer through the lines. You know, if you're running a pub, um, losing beer through the lines is an expensive problem. Um, as pubs around that area, you know, if you've got your beer in a cellar and you're pumping it up from the cellar, you're losing literally six pints per cask. It's a lot of money to lose when you're paying for the casks. Um, but anyway, that was one area. You walked out to there, there's another another area, another seating area under the shade, lovely shaded area. And then up from that, another seating area up onto the sunny decking area. So I never knew these existed. So really glad, really glad I went yesterday on my birthday, you know. Um, we actually went down. Um, let me have a drink first. Tasting lovely. So we actually went down because um, if you know this channel, you know, you, you may well know that uh, July the 14th, 2023, Mr. Raggy's beer reviews and Mrs. Raggy, <laughs> uh, we knew in our wedding vows, we've been married 23 years. God, Jesus, you know, you get yet less for murder these days. And uh, yeah, married 23 years, been together 32 years. On that same date when renewing our wedding vows my wife was never happy with the original wedding um, both my mum and her mum and dad stuck their oar in as parents do and and she never got the wedding she wanted so this is this this is more about ticking them boxes and doing it right the second time but what it is also about it's about friends, family, acquaintances that in the last few years have become a massive part of our lives. And it's, it's very, very important to us. For me, from a beer review perspective, for five years now I've been doing beer reviews, I have, I have made friends, and I hope friends anyway, you, know, you never really know. But anyway, I have made friends with the beer, beer community in Nottingham and around Nottingham, and some amazing people who are all trying to earn their money, selling, uh, brewing beer, uh, and so on. But also reviewing beer, because I've got friends who review beer, similar to me, as a hobby, talk about beer, obviously half the time you, you pissed out your face, but these things do, do apologise. No swearing, but yeah, you drink too much. But um, you know, and it's a hobby, and uh, and this is the thing, you know. And in a funny way, at the wedding, on my side of things especially, it's all about friends, and it's all about work people and friends of friends. It's not really about family. There are very little family that are there. Um, that is what it is, you know. 
But uh, but anyway, this the Sir John Belay's Warren. So I walked in, went to the left hand side straight away. You got your four core um, Lincoln Green beers. So that uh, they are Archer, Marion, Hood, Put and Tuck, which is a porter, a best bitter, an American pale ale, and uh, what's Marion? Just a pale ale. Uh, as far as I remember, uh, there were a couple of um, Welbeck Abbey beers there, and there was a uh, um, Everard's beer there. They they were on cask. There was a, there was actually a, um, a a cider on cask, which is uh, they had they had twelve cask lines that I noticed. Um, obviously, like all breweries and like all pubs, you can't be having twelve. And you can't be having maximum cast lines going all the time. Simply because if you don't sell them, that's beer that's got to go down the drain. Cask has a life. Not like keg. Keg has more of a life. So a longer life and also more expensive for obvious reasons uh, in the processes. So there were, there were keg on the back wall there. Um, obviously lots of... Um, the lagers, as in all uh, Lincoln Green pubs, the lagers are well hidden. They do do lager, but it's well hidden. Why? Because they don't want to be portrayed as a lager pub. They want to be portrayed as a family-friendly, dog-friendly pub where you go in and uh, you, you're going to get a great experience. And uh, we got a great experience, to be fair. So anyway, we, we got our beers, spoke to the, the uh, there was a late, a, a young blonde girl standing uh, behind the bar and then there was a bloke. And I looked at my thoughts to myself, right, here we go. So what me and Mrs, what Mrs Raggy had done and under my uh, proviso, um, for the for our ready menu vows, we we're actually making um, a cake and cupcakes. She's doing her wedding cakes. She does cakes anyway, so. But we're also doing a cake themed around beer and the beer community. And uh, that will be an amazing cake, you know. It's going to tick a lot of boxes because there's friends and that, need, that, are on, that will be on that cake. Yeah, friends, acquaintances, and so on and so forth. Yeah, it will be what it is. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's a culmination of what's been important to me for five years across the local and national uh, brewing community. And it uh, means a lot to me in, in any case, you know, if, you've been, if I'm being uh, serious about it. Um, and I've absolutely totally forgot where I was going there. I bobbed it there. Forgot. So anyway, um, and I've only got 13 minutes, so I need to crack on. So anyway, we walked through, walked into the back, meets up with Angela and Andy, our massive friends from the um, Happy Drinkers co um, Collective that we are. Uh, Angie and Andrew, Lisa, Glenn, me and Tracy, Tracy being my wife, Lisa and Glenn being another couple. And we are the Happy Drinkers. And and along with Alex and Neem, um, who are the daughters of Alex and that, and um, sorry, daughters of Angela and Andrew, you know, we are the happy drinkers. We have we do have a Saturday drinkers as well, another collective, and uh, it's funny you get these collectives. But anyway, yeah. So we sat in the back in the shade in in the area that we didn't know even existed, and uh, we had a lovely toasted. Um, a sandwich with beef slices and Stilton. Oh, it tasted absolutely amazing. And I know today they were doing uh, beef carbs and, and I assume they were amazing as well. So, uh, Mark, the landlord slash manager, I'm not sure if he classes himself as a landlord as a manager, I mean, his daughter were there, and it was lovely to meet them. It's lovely to meet the people behind the pubs, you know. 
as a person and I'm watching the time I've only got literally got three minutes um, as a person who's really keen on discovering people it's not just about the people who sell you the beer make the beer it's about the people like you serve you the beer we are all part of the equation and uh, in any business in any you know we you you are only as strong as those people at the forefront and that's where some businesses forget this and some don't obviously um you're as powerful as that person who's there who says nice words about you because they say nice words and they're not getting paid well they are getting paid because they work for you but they're not getting paid to promote you they're getting paid to do their job but if they say a nice word and promote the business off-site or whatever then that's promotion that you don't get as is really the world of beer reviews because the world of beer reviewers and beer drinkers uh, and not just people who do it for social media reasons or whatever but people who drink a beer in a pub they drink your beer and they'll say do you know mate i, I had a fantastic beer in that lincoln green pub last night i drank bop 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 and it was amazing and that is powerful social media these days is as powerful as you can as you can believe you know um but in any case so we had amazing food there we drank the beers that i reviewed the, the welbeck abbey i reviewed archer uh there and uh the good fellow mark invited me down into what what is the dog and thief i'm sure it's dog and thief um the like the craft beer bar for a bit of a craft beer tasting, which was incredibly kind. Uh, it was my birthday, so it was an amazing birthday uh, gesture. And uh, I and I, I will be the, all the reviews will be coming. So there was literally four Lincoln Green craft beers and a Wild Child craft beer as well. And uh, I had a, had a little bit of each, which is all I need to do a craft beer review. And those reviews will be coming in due course. And I've got to say, I had an amazing time at the uh, Sir John yesterday. Um, like I say, the staff were amazing, all the staff. The place itself, I didn't know it was that big. I didn't know it went into the back. The sun lounge, the shade lounge upstairs, the dog and thief. Oh, I didn't take no videos of dog and thief and I wish I had done, but it was amazing. Um, would I go there again? Hell yes. Hell yes. It was really good. We all had a great time. We all, you know, really happy. Got good happy vibes about the pub. And uh, love the craft beers and the cask. And uh, uh, I'm not going to give it a review because reviews don't really tell the full story. The scores don't tell the full story. But, story, rather. But, absolutely amazing. You've got to go. And that's my review. Thank you. Video's gonna die, I need to stop. Cheers.